is no sugar coating the fact that Xi Jinping regime is authoritarian. In fact, authoritarian is a less severe adjective here. From the systematic purge in the party to the brutal crackdown on the students in Hong Kong, from the jailing of millions of Uyghur Muslims to the silencing of dissenters in the government and the press, Xi Jinping's China has turned into a dangerous dictatorship. On Beyond Edit, we look at whether the Chinese president can survive the current political crisis or will the discontent snowball into a rebellion against him. Let's start with the story of Uyghur Muslims. It is a revealing story. This is the largest mass incarceration of an ethnic minority since the Second World War. And so far, Xi Jinping is getting away with it. But the leak should worry him. Two big leaks in 10 days show that all is not well within the Communist Party of China. Yes, there is no open opposition to Xi Jinping, but the cracks are widening. Leaks from the top political circles of the Communist Party are very rare, to say the least. And these leaks appear to be from the very top. They also expose Xi Jinping's approach, show no mercy, allow no escapes. This is a man who will do anything to scotch dissent, even target his own party men, his own countrymen, put them in jails, label them as traitors. The Uyghur episode has opened a Pandora's box in China. Then comes the case of Hong Kong, much worse. The city-state has been protesting for 25 weeks. These protests have grown in size and intent and now the victory of pro-democracy candidates in local elections is a slap on the face of Beijing no less. They have rejected Xi Jinping's dictatorship and they want democratic rights. Beijing can keep blaming the West for what is happening in Hong Kong but it will have to contend with these people. And police brutality will not save the day for Xi Jinping. If anything, it will galvanize these protests. Now, Xi Jinping has tried every trick in the book. He has unleashed the army to intimidate the people of Hong Kong. He has launched apps to teach the Xi Jinping thought. He has forced these apps on more than 100 million people. He tried thought control on Chinese university campuses. He forced the media to practice this, love the party, protect the party. And yet, there are leaks in Beijing and protests in Hong Kong. What is not working? Can Xi Jinping, the most powerful Chinese leader since Mao Zedong, survive this? The answer is complex, I have to say. The Chinese state has the military might. It is brutal and aggressive. It targets its own people. China's history is littered with such examples. The Cultural Revolution, the Tiananmen Square Massacre, the violence on protesting minors in 2016 and now Hong Kong and Xinjiang. This is a regime that will do anything to protect itself. But also bear in mind that the protesters are not giving up in Hong Kong and Xinjiang is a ticking time bomb. For a long time, China's economy served as a hedge against social unrest. There was growth, so people kept quiet. Now it is unraveling under the pressure of the trade war. All is not rosy in the economy. Decision-making has slowed down, with Xi Jinping controlling everything. Plus, there is growing international pressure. There are 21 Australians, five of them children, who have been detained in Xinjiang. The global community has been slow to call out China, but that is changing. They are making a noise now. In the past, the party rallied behind leaders during times of crisis. For instance, Deng Xiaoping had the full backing of the party during Tiananmen Square. Clearly, Xi Jinping does not enjoy this kind of unwavering support of all. Somebody is leaking his secrets. So here's our assessment. If this crisis continues, it will rust the iron grip on power. How Xi Jinping survives this crisis will define the political and economic future of China. An illiberal state seeking leadership in a liberal world order.